Over the years, I've shown you several screen recorders. One of the easiest to use for high quality screen recordings is NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is also known as NVIDIA Share. While many gamers use it to record and stream gameplay, it also works great to record anything else that you have on your screen. In this beginner's guide, I'll go over the system requirements, the various settings, and show you how to use NVIDIA Shadow Play. Let's get started. Let's quickly go over the system requirements first. To use Shadow Play, you will need GeForce Experience installed on your computer. If you don't have it, I'll provide a link in the description to download it. In addition to Shadow Play, this program helps to keep your games optimized, lets you stream your games to an NVIDIA Shield, and keeps your graphics drivers up to date, along with many other features. GeForce Experience is available for Windows 7 through 10. You must have at least 2GB of system memory and the supported hardware listed. I'll provide a link to this page as well in the description. Let's go check out the specific system requirements for Shadow Play. With the GeForce Experience program installed, open it up. Here in the top row, click on Settings. Scroll down to Features. In the left, if In-Game Overlay is turned off, toggle the switch to turn it on. In Features, click on In-Game Overlay. This will show you the system requirements for Shadow Play. You will need an NVIDIA graphics card beginning with one of the select cards in the GTX 600 series or higher. And they recommend at least 4GB of system memory. I personally would recommend additional RAM, at least 8GB to have it run more smoothly. Now we're going to take a look at the in-game overlay. Click on the icon to the left of settings to open the in-game overlay. Let's go through these from left to right. Some of these you won't need when you first get started. In the far left, you have the options to take a screenshot, photo mode, and game filter. Screenshot will capture your entire screen and save it to the gallery. Photo mode is used in supported games to take in-game photos. And game filter allows you to add post-processing filters that change the overall appearance of your game. To the right of that is instant replay, which is a DVR-like feature. If you have it turned on, it records up to 20 minutes of your on-screen time. Clicking on record lets you capture your screen. As you can see, it's recording. I'm currently using Shadow Play to record this video. To the right of that is Broadcast Live, which lets you stream to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. More on that later on. In the upper right corner is the gallery, where your screenshots and photos are saved. Below that, selecting microphone, your choices are push to talk, always on and off. Here, you can turn a video camera connected to your PC on or off. And the last one here on the right is settings. So let's dive in and look at the various settings available for Shadow Play. You won't find as many settings with Shadow Play as you do with other screen recorders like OBS Studio, but if you're someone who doesn't like having too many choices, Shadow Play might work better for you. Let's start off here at the top with Connect. I'll move through each of these quickly. This is where you can log into your accounts for Facebook, Nvidia, Twitch, Google, and many others. HUD layout lets you set the placement of certain items on your screen. For example, with the status indicator for recording, just click on the boxes to set the position for that item, or you could just turn it off. Keyboard shortcuts is the place to learn most of the shortcuts available to avoid having to open the in-game overlay that can be changed to suit your needs. For beginners, I'd recommend using the Alt plus F9 keys for the next couple of weeks before learning the other shortcuts. This combination can be used to start, stop, and save your recordings. It's the keyboard shortcut I use most often. In recordings, I wouldn't bother changing the temporary files save location, but you might want to change the location for your videos to make them easier to find. In Broadcast Live, you can set a destination for your streams. Your choices are Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. If you're experiencing lag while streaming, I'd recommend lowering the quality to see if that helps. If you scroll down, this is where you can add custom overlays. And for ingest server, I'd recommend choosing the location closest to you. In my case, that would be Dallas, Texas. Let's skip over the next two and go to audio. This is where you can choose your microphone as the source. If you have a microphone that requires a preamp, 
choose that instead. Use the default volumes and boost when you first get started. If necessary, adjust to suit your needs. Before we move on to the next segment, let's go into video capture. For the instant replay feature I showed you earlier, if you have it turned on, this is where you can set the length. For recording save to your computer, set the quality, resolution, frame rate, and bit rate as high as they will go. If you're suffering lag or system slowdowns, reduce each of these as needed. Earlier in this video, I told you that Shadowplay is one of the easiest high quality screen recorders that you can use. If you remember the keyboard shortcut I told you earlier, which is Alt plus F9, you'll have zero need to open the in-game overlay or NVIDIA experience when you record a game or your screen. So let's close both of those out. To begin recording, hold down the Alt plus F9 keys on your keyboard. You'll see a notification in the upper right that your recording has started. When you're done recording, just hit Alt plus F9 again. Your recording will stop and you'll get the notification that your recording has been saved to your videos folder. All you need to do now is to import that file into your favorite video editor. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial for NVIDIA Shadowplay helped you out. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to stay up to date with our latest beginner's guide tutorials and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.